I'm Janet Atkinson. As milk producers continue to face countless challenges, access to an affordable feed ingredients isn't one of them. That's thanks to U.S. soy. A recent study shows the dairy industry is the number three consumer of soybean meal in the country. United Soybean Board Director Chuck Prelwitz joins us now to speak on this relationship. And Chuck, thanks for taking the time to chat with us this morning. So why is the dairy industry so important to the nation's soybean sector? Hi, Janet. Um, USB is always looking to increase market share. We always look for market opportunities as well as ways to drive demand. You know, almost 10% of soy meal consumption in the U.S. is by dairy animals. Poultry and twine consume the most, though. In Wisconsin, I believe it's a lot higher because there are a lot more cows in Wisconsin than there are in the rest of our state. So, Certainly makes sense. So how does the soy and dairy industry work towards these common goals? Um, we're always looking hard to deliver product that, that dairy can utilize, which helps their bottom line as well as ours. When we work together with the dairy industry or dairy farmers, we can supply a sustainable grow, grown crop, high-quality soybean product to help keep their costs down and performance high. Um, a lot of dairy farmers um, raise soybeans as part of their crop rotation in Wisconsin here. So it makes it really easy to work together with them because they're looking, working at the same goals we are. So what would you say is the outlook, of course, for this market for soy as we continue to progress? I think the outlook is very good. We're looking at um, working with amino acids to help divert, uh, deliver a product that's more suitable for the dairy cows. Um, we're always looking to do different things that make um, the soy product work better. The dairy industry is helping us out by using the soy hulls, which is a fiber and energy for is provides fiber, fiber and energy for the cows diet. Uh, something the cows really need. So there's a combined total of 2.7 million tons of soy that holes that were fed between hogs, dairy, and beef cattle this last year. That takes a, mar uh, a waste product off the market, so and it helps um, the bottom line for us. Well, Chuck, before we wrap things up, of course, you farm near Ripon, Wisconsin. Tell us a little bit about the region. What kind of growing season did you have this year? Uh, like the rest of the country, a wet growing season, uh, hard getting the crop in, hard getting it out. Um, we do have our beans off, although the area, there's probably 10% left yet. There's snow on the ground, so that affects everything. Uh, corn is coming off, too. Probably 80% of the corn is off. Um, we've got just a little bit left for a custom job we have left to do, but it's running good. Corn probably in that 160 to 200 bushel range. Beans were more in the 50 to 65 bushel range. You mentioned there's snow on the ground. How much snow do you all have? Uh, right, where well, we are, probably about two, three inches. You go north up by Green Bay, they got 10 to 15 inches. All right. That makes <laughs> that much fun. <laughs> and that was a good bullet to dodge for you guys. Well, thank you very much, Chuck, for joining us. We certainly appreciate your update. United Soybean Board Director Chuck Prowitz joining us on the phone again from Ripon, Wisconsin.